friends, it's Camille, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this festival look. I have been to two festivals so far this summer, and I have one more coming up, so I'm really excited to get to wear my new look, and I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do before going to a festival is take a shower because you know it's going to be hot and sweaty there, so you might as well start out refreshed. So for this video, I've partnered with Olay to announce their new Foaming Whip Body Wash. So first, let's unbox the full collection kit for the summer. So there's a satin robe, which I love to wear these types of things around the house so I don't have to wear actual clothes in the summer. There's a Fuji film in Stocks Mini, which of course I'm excited about because everyone loves to take instant photos during the summer. Now I've never heard of this before, but it's a really cool concept. It's the Aquanote waterproof notepad and pencil. So it has suction cups on the back and you can mount it to your shower. So then when you're in the shower, you can take notes on waterproof paper with a waterproof pencil. I've tried it and it's pretty cool. Speaking of mounting things, there's a simple human shower mirror that you can mount to your shower with the silicone glue and it doesn't actually ever fog up, which is really cool for showers. And now I have a baby simple human mirror to go with the big daddy back there. And last but not least, the Olay Foaming Wet Body Wash. It comes in three scents. The shea butter one smells delicious. The birch water and lavender one is a great floral scent. And the white strawberry and mint one is a very unexpected combo, but it works. So of course I'm using the shea butter one, and because of its foamy texture, it can pass the flip test and somewhat defy gravity, which makes this really fun in the shower. So the body wash leaves your skin feeling soft, and a little goes a long way, and each one lasts 30 or more showers. Next I'm moving on to makeup, so I'm going to put my hair up to get it out of my way. So I already have my foundation, contour, and eyebrows done because you guys have seen that a million times. So I'm gonna start with the Glossier Balm.com and it's just a really good lip balm because you're gonna be outside for a long time and you don't wanna get chapped lips. I chose an understated blush and you will see why in the future, but I'm using the Cargo Blush Strips in Miami Heat. So I realized I have these two gorgeous Becca highlights that I just haven't used yet and they're perfect for festivals because they're colorful. So I have a more purple one that's called Amethyst Flashes Geode, and I have a more pink one called Rose Quartz Flashes Seashell. It gives like a holographic duotone kind of thing. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really beautiful. And I chose these two colors obviously because my hair is per pink right now, it's purple and pink. So now moving on to eyes, I'm starting with an Essie Eye Primer, and I'm just putting that all over my lids. And next I'm using the Aurora Lights Palette from BH Cosmetics, which has a bunch of foiled eyeshadows and just beautiful festival colors. So I'm gonna go for pink and purple, which is magical and prismatic, and I'm gonna somewhat cut my crease with that, just putting the shadow on the upper part of my crease. So now I'm gonna use my e.l.f. concealer in medium dark and put that all over my lid, really cutting that crease and making it sharp. So on my lid, I'm gonna use a really light pink from the Smashbox Cover Shot palette, and it's the bold eye one. So I chose the pink because it's a matte, and you can also see a lot of contrast because it's way lighter than the top. And I wanted to have a really defined cut crease so I can slice it up even more. And I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Pigment for that, and I'm using the purple one, which is called Rave, and this tiny little pencil brush. And then I'm gonna draw a line outlining exactly in between the shape of the crease, going between the light pink and then the shimmery purple pink. So now we're gonna slice it up one last time using a clear glitter from BH Cosmetics called Synergy. So now there's a little something something in the crease. <laughs> On my lower lash line, I'm using the same pink that I put in the crease and just smudging that out there. On my inner corner, I'm using 24K, which is this beautiful gold, so it can add a color that's not purple. <laughs> now onto liner, I'm going to use a pencil to line my lower lash line, and then I'm going to do a little bit on top with a liquid, just so I can blend in my lashes, not to wing anything out. Now onto lashes, I'm using the Ardell Wispies and Duo Lash Adhesive, and I'm just plopping those on. And I'm just gonna quickly go over where the lashes are with my liquid liner to blend them in. So obviously I don't want my makeup to sweat off during the day, so I'm gonna use a setting spray to seal the deal. 
Now I'm gonna go in with mascara for my lower lashes. Okay, so this is where it gets good. I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer and a light pink glitter, and I'm gonna be putting that on top of my highlight on my cheekbones for festival highlight. So we're finishing off with a new lipstick. This is from Makeup Forever in their Matte Rouge collection, and this is in M101. So that's it for makeup, and now let's go pick out an outfit. So I've decided to go with a dress that kind of goes with the whole pink and purple theme and complements my hair. And I'm also wearing my hair clipped up. So I have like a claw clip in there, so it's kind of out of my face, but it's still roaming free. So this is the finished look and I am festival ready. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you're going to any festivals or went to any this summer or which festival you'd want to go to. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my social media that is linked in the description box down below. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I will see you in my next video. Kisses. Mwah.